Hello friends, today we are going to study about how to find area of triangle when three points are given to you or you can say when three coordinates are given to you. Look here, you can see three coordinates are given to you, point A, point B and point C and their coordinates are there. So we know with this three coordinate, we will get a triangle A, B and C. If we want to find the area of this triangle, this is on Cartesian plane, we know it is a coordinate geometry chapter, so it is on Cartesian plane. We can see three coordinates are given and if we join them, we will get a triangle. And if we want to find the area of this triangle, first we will have to give names to these coordinates. You give this coordinate x1, y1, this coordinate x2 and y2, this is abscissa and this is coordinate. So everywhere abscissa will be x, coordinate will be y and here also it's x3 and y3. Now there is one formula that I will tell you and I will tell you also that how we can easily remember that formula and I will tell you where generally the students are making mistakes in this. So please watch my whole video so that you come to know that. First, I am going to tell you the formula for finding area of triangle when three sides are given to you half into bracket x1 again this whole bracket x1 into bracket y2 minus y3 plus x2 into bracket y3 minus y1 plus x3 into bracket y1 minus y2 look here it is so confusing so i will tell you how to remember this very easily what you have to do just you have to write half then you have to write x into bracket y minus y plus x into bracket y minus y plus x into bracket y minus y i think you can remember this very easily by mistake x y minus y x plus x y minus y plus x y minus y then you know the order 1 2 3 right so we can easily remember this 1 2 3 look at x1 y 1 2 3 then we have to take this one at the back side so it, here it will be 2 3 and 1 now we have to take this 2 on the back side so it will be 3 1 and 2 so easily you can remember this with x1 1, 2, 3, 2, 3, 1, and then three, uh, 2 at the back side, so 3, 1, 2. Now, what generally students are making? They are keeping the values and during addition, subtraction also, they are making mistakes. Okay. Then first we have to write x1, that is 1. Then here, they forget to keep, take this minus and again, many a times minus is also there with the number. So 2 minus are there. So you have to make minus minus plus, but they are forgetting to keep this. So you have to do it very carefully. Y2, so 6 minus Y3 is 5 plus X2, that is minus 4, Y3, 5 minus, look here. Now 5 minus minus 1, so minus minus will become a plus 1. Here they are not doing this, so I am telling you. Then X3. That is minus 3 multiply with y1 minus 1 and then minus 6. Here also they are making mistakes. So be careful while writing this 1 by 2. Now 1 multiply 6 minus 5 1 plus minus 4 multiply with 6, 5 plus 1 6 plus minus 3 multiply with minus 7. Look here. It is so simple. Now multiply. 1 1 is 1. 6 4 is a minus 24. And 3 7 is a plus 21. Now we have to add them. 1 by 2. And we know 1. So it's minus 20. 3 plus 21 so it will be 1 by 2 into bracket minus 2 
now you you will now we can cancel two ones are two minus one is there so minus one now you are getting minus one as the answer the area of this triangle is minus one centimeter but the problem is area cannot be negative if you are getting minus one we know the coordinates which we are taking actually they are negative but actually they are not negative we had taken it on cartesian plane we had divided the plane so area cannot be negative so we have to convert this area into one square unit so it will be positive one square unit so area of this triangle will be one square unit this way we can find the area of triangle when three points are given to you thank you so much for watching my video